Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. We've got a new uh, month of two boxes entering, one box is leaving, and our death match as to which box is the better of the two, uh, Nerd Block or Loot Crate. For the themes of the month, Nerd Block is Trick or Treat, which I believe they've done before, and Loot Crates is Time. <clears throat> For those who don't know, they're both boxes that you get uh, a bunch of geeky stuff to your doorstep. You don't necessarily know what items you're specifically going to get, but they have a theme every single month. Um, first, the the theme for Nerd Block, I feel the items are very kind of like loosely connected to it. Um, it's trick or treat. Not sure what most of these have to do with trick or, or treating. Um, so kind of blah on that. Uh, going over things really quickly, we get the exclusive uh, Titans pack. Vinyl, uh, we have the Pelter's Pets t-shirt, which I think is probably the best item out of all of it. Maybe the vinyl is the second one. Uh, we have an exclusive Gem and the Holograms comic book with Nerd Block cover, Bob's Burgers Mad Libs, uh, Zombie Hunter dog tags, and a uh, coaster with Most Tavern. Um, the time theme for Loot Crate, we have a Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure t-shirt, uh, Doctor Who Sonic Spork, uh, Dr. Emmett Brown Loot Crate exclusive pop, and then finally, the Back to the Future hoverboard, uh, one-fifth scale replica, also an exclusive. So three exclusive items there. Uh, easily, hands down, I think, of the two, uh, the best of the box is, is Loot Crate. You get three exclusive items. All of them feel pretty substantial in, the, in what they are. Uh, the replica for the hoverboard is really, really nice. The spork is pretty cool. And, of course, you got to like an exclusive pop. I actually like the pop figure itself. Um, ironically, though, I think other than maybe the Spork, I have none of the items I'm probably going to keep. Um, I think most of it's going to be eBay fodder, um, well, but I'll admit they're actually really, really neat. And if I had tons of room and I could just display stuff, I would keep things in a heartbeat. But um, I just don't, and as much as I like Back to the Future, I'm not a huge collector of the items. Uh, the Nurblock stuff, I mean, most of it's going to go up. Um, I will probably keep the Gremlins t-shirts, just because I love the idea of the grum, uh, grow, glow in the dark aspect to it. Uh, the Titan vinyls, again, if I had tons of room, I would keep it, but uh, I don't. So, uh, out of everything, the one item I probably will absolutely keep is the uh, Gem and the Holograms comic, because I'm a comic geek, and I love my exclusive covers, and I will probably keep the coaster, because it's a coaster. Uh, Bob's Burger Man Lib probably will also be kept because I'm a huge Bob's Burger fan. So um, I appreciate those items, but I think easily hands down, as far as quality of the items, Loot Crate wins. Uh, the three exclusives, the th exclusives are, I think, really, really solid. They're really nice, well put together. I feel like I'm getting my bang for the buck with that. Uh, the Nerd Block, unfortunately, feels like um, a bunch of crap thrown in with a couple cool items. So uh, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. So victor for this month is Loot Crate. Um, I appreciate you watching this month's comparison. Of course, we'll be back next month comparing them as well. You can catch us every single day at graphopolicy.com. Uh, you can see us on Twitter, Facebook, of course on YouTube. We're all at Graphic Policy. We keep it nice and consistent. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep it geeky.